Um, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm dieting, but I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm like, I'm definitely not dieting. <laughs> but, um... What is happening guys? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today it is March 29th and I have a little full day of eating semi-plan for you guys. The reason why I say semi-plan is because I never really plan my full day of eatings. I just eat whatever I want to eat and most of the time it ends up being the same thing. If you guys haven't noticed, like it always includes Kamuk Puffs and a PB&J. But today I'm going to try and make that a little bit different. I do have a couple recipes planned for you guys. So if you want to see more, come along. And on the side, we're going to be doing some oat fits. So it has 100 calories for one pack. Serving size is non-existent because I ripped it off. <laughs> but it turns out to be quite a lot, so I'll show you guys when it's ready. Um, and it has like 18 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fat, and um, 3 protein, and like 2 grams of fat, I believe. So this one's the maple and brown sugar. They also have cinnamon roll. This one's better, in my opinion, and it's really really good so we're gonna do that and alongside of that we're gonna have a Mikey's double chocolate chip muffin I found these at Walmart and I've tried these before in Canada actually so for you Canadians you can find these over there too um, it's all these things right here fancy schmancy and then we got um, 127 calories 7 fat 10 carbs and 6 grams of protein So I'm gonna go to a yoga class in like 30 minutes. So I kept my breakfast pretty simple because I don't really have that much time to get creative right now um, So I have oat fit right here as you guys saw earlier I put some peanut butter in there. So in total we have 12 grams of peanut butter um, On the oatmeal and then 12 grams of peanut butter on these babies are right here I added some Hershey's light syrup. So it's the first time in a long time that I'm having like any kind of artificial syrup I'm still using artificial sweeteners, but I've definitely cut back a little bit and I'm like beyond ready to eat this. I'm so hungry. Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> they have like a very dark chocolate flavor. So the syrup and the peanut butter are just like on point. <laughs> but I feel like I'm still sleeping. I was up pretty late last night, like late for me, like at, until one-ish in the morning because I was trying to get a video uploaded and it didn't upload and it's uploading right now and it's still failing and just not sharing. So kind of decided that since I can't really control that and I'm just doing what I can, I'm just gonna let it be and not let it bug me because that's really all I can do right now. But for that meal, it was 16 fat, 34 carb, and 30 grams of protein. So it was a bit of a higher fat meal, but that is okay because as a woman especially, we need our fats. Fats are key to keep our body functioning properly, to keep our hormones in balance, to make sure that our whole system is working properly. And as of right now, I'm taking in 60 grams of fat a day. So I'm gonna get my day started and I will catch you guys at my next meal. guys and yoga is a wrap so this little yoga class that I've been coming to it's my second week um, it's restorative yoga so 
it's honestly the easiest, most like effortless thing that I've ever done in my life and it feels incredible because it's just like an hour and a half of stretching and just holding the stretches and just breathing and focusing on like being present. This is kind of like helping me to get into the groove of meditation. Like I've been trying to be consistent with meditation for so long but like if I just can't like actually focus and do it a hundred percent well when I'm at home then I feel like this is a way better way to just like get started I find that this little yoga class is like a way to ease into meditation and like kind of learn how to do it because it's someone guiding me through it it feels great like it's just so relaxing and I feel really good right now so it's 12.08 I gotta go to Publix and pick up some things for the lentils that we're gonna be making so I'm gonna grab the things that I need and we're gonna go home and make some lentils I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the store because it's just unnecessary and it's a whole bunch of stuff that you've seen like a million times so we're not gonna get into that we're gonna get right into the lentils I did leave them soaking overnight so they grew quite a bit if you don't want to do that though you can leave them cooking for like an hour and they'll eventually cook but if you do them like this then it just makes the cooking process a lot easier the next day so we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil If you want your lentils to be a little bit more soupy, then you're gonna add more water. If you want them to be just more dry and just more like a bean to add to like rice or just to have on the side, then you can add less water. So how much water you add really depends on you, but you can kind of just guesstimate as you see them cooking. And if you feel like they're almost ready and there's a lot of water still, then you can just take some water out. It's really not that complicated. All right guys, so I have some onions, tomatoes, some garlic, some ground cumin, some sea salt, and some green onions. And that's what we're gonna be using for the guiso, which is like the little sauce. You guys will see, I don't know how to explain it. So first we're gonna saute everything, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil, then we're gonna throw in the onions, green onions, and the tomatoes. Um, I'm not the best at cooking, but something that I do know is that you always throw in the veggies that take the longest cooking first because you throw in the ones that cook faster, then they'll get all soggy and gross. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna throw in the onions first, and then we'll do the tomatoes. And while this is still boiling, they look pretty ready though, I'm gonna throw in some cumin and salt and garlic in there. They've been boiling for about 15 minutes now. That's all she wrote. So they are ready, they're looking good, and they're tasting even better. One thing that I have learned about cooking is that it's so hard to not taste things when you're cooking them and like, how am I gonna track that? But I just decided that when you're cooking and you have to taste things, then those macros just don't count. So I don't wanna eat quite yet. I just had a kombucha and I'm feeling pretty like full from that. So I'm gonna get into some work right now and then I will show you guys what we're having for the next meal. And you guys know what's next. Some holy guac, guac, <laughs> some reduced sugar ketchup, and we are set. We got 80 grams of lentils, 2.5 grams of chicken, 20 grams of holy guacamole, bunch of vegetables, and we better dig in. Yes. may have gone a little bit of a roar, but you can never have too much food or too many lentils. So I'm gonna probably end up freezing some of this. It did taste really, really good at first. I was like, uh, you know, it doesn't really taste much like my mom's when I was just tasting it while I was cooking. But like after when I had it with like the salad, it was just like, girl, you got your mom skills. <laughs> okay, I just realized that I've changed my top so many times today. I think this is the fourth time that I've changed, but 
I'm giving up with my video. I've been trying to upload it since 8 p.m. yesterday. It's currently 4 something-ish. So I'm giving in and we're gonna go to Starbucks. Just get it uploaded over there instead of wasting time here and trying to continuously upload it because it's just not working. So we're gonna steal some Starbucks Wi-Fi, maybe get a drink, figure this situation out, and I will see you guys there. You guys, we did it. The video is up. It's not the one that I wanted to upload though, but either way, I still got some footage up for you guys. Hopefully I can schedule it tonight and have it ready for tomorrow. I'm like so tempted to go grab some Chick-fil-A because I've never tried their sandwiches ever. I've only had the chicken nuggets grilled chicken nuggets but I just like knowing that I have food at home it just feels like a sin eating out so I think we're gonna head home I had a recipe in mind for you guys I don't know if that's gonna happen but we'll see how the night goes I have an early wake-up call tomorrow morning because we are heading to Orlando we're gonna go eat all of Orlando I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge snacker, especially if I'm hungry. So I'm gonna snack on these while the plantains cook. We've got 90 grams of plantains cooking right now, and then these are, are you ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? These are cinnamon bun, cinnamon popcorn flavored popcorn. Cinnamon flavored popcorn, yes, it's so good. It has um, nine fat, 17 carb, two grams of fiber, and two grams of protein for a 28 gram serving. Buddha Bowl popcorn is still the winner, but this is pretty decent. It's pretty good. I'm about to eat like the randomest plate of food, but I am so excited because everything on here is just like so good. We got some spinach because I need it green on the plate. Got some chicken, plantains that I made with olive oil, got some reduced fat feta cheese, lentils from earlier, and now we dive in. Mmm. It's good. But I'm just really hungry. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's currently 9.40 p.m. and I just got off Skype with Julian. We did a little posing session. What is that? What is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been such a long day. It's the grid on my camera. It's on and I thought it was broken. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, I don't know what's going on with me today, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit off. Um, it's been kind of a long day just because I've been having all these issues with my computer since like last night and I sit up till one in the morning trying to upload a video. And it's funny that like, this is an issue to me, but like I do see YouTube as kind of work and a job, not work in the sense that it feels like a chore, but just work in the sense that I do want to be like consistent with what I'm uploading and making sure that I'm bringing content to you guys. So like when things don't go as planned, it does bug me a little bit because I want to be good with it. You know, like if you don't take things seriously and you're not consistent with it, you're never going to be great at what you want to do because you just have to give everything full effort so when things like this happen it definitely frustrates me a little bit and obviously i'm not running on enough sleep right now so it's been a little bit of a long day and i don't want to like sit here and complain but you can just tell that i'm like a little bit off so i still have a lot of food to eat just because today's been one of those days that i just I've just been focusing on getting things done and obviously food really hasn't been like my main priority which is pretty crazy because if you know me, I love food so um, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm dieting but I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm like I'm definitely not dieting. <laughs> but um, as of right now, I've only had 34 fat. 104 carb and 86 grams of protein. So I still have a lot of macros to hit. I do not know if I'm gonna hit them all tonight, but um, obviously I'll do, I'll make an effort just because I do wanna be in bed by like now, cause I have to drive to Orlando tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna schedule the video that I was able to upload in YouTube, in YouTube, that I was able to upload at Starbucks. I'm gonna get some food together 
and I'm gonna call it a day. So I will see you guys then. So I think by the time this video is out, this will be as well. So it's the peanut butter cookie new pea science select protein. Um, figure this would make. <laughs> this would make. This is my day in a nutshell. I need to get these fixed. I like ordered a new frame and I actually found the exact same ones because I love this frame, but clearly it hasn't come in the mail yet. Okay, back to what I was saying. This hasn't come out yet. It'll be coming out next week sometime. Hopefully by the time that I put out this video, it's out already or maybe I'll put it out on the day that it's released. But um, I'm about to try this for the first time ever. I'm gonna make it in my oatmeal because I want oatmeal right now. So I'm being really extra right now because it's just like being overtired. So peanut butter cookie has three carb, 24 protein, and 1.5 fat. We better try it right now. So we got 20 grams of this, I already tried it and I think it might be better than the chocolate peanut butter cup, not gonna lie. Then we got some strawberries, 30 grams of oatmeal, um, 40 grams of strawberries, five grams of enlightened broad beans, eight grams of peanut butter, and that's it. So creamy. If you didn't know that this is like my favorite way to eat oatmeal, now you know. So good, so easy to make and you can literally make it anywhere. It's like my favorite way to eat oatmeal when I'm traveling. So I just need hot water, oatmeal, and a six pack container. Mm. I've been throwing my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the toaster after I actually put everything in there and it makes it so nice and warm and just like melty. And this beauty right here is how we're finishing off the day. This is really high fat, pretty low carb, and it has like moderate protein, but it's so worth the fats because it's so good. If you haven't tried Power Crunch bars before, you're missing out and you should definitely get your hands on them because they're just, they're amazing. They're really good. They're like a wafer and salted caramel, you just can't go wrong with because salted caramel is everything in every flavor. So my macros for the day are 64 fat, 189 carb, 41 grams of fiber, and 134 protein. I went over my fats, went under all my carbs, and a little bit over all my protein. So overall, I just kind of focus on making sure that I'm hitting my calories as long as I'm getting enough protein in, getting enough carbs in, and hitting my calories or getting close to my calories or staying within my calories then it's fine if I'm like a little bit under or over on certain macros and this is something I would recommend to some of you out there if you feel like some days you want to have more carbs some days you want to have more fats it's completely fine to do that unless you obviously have like specific goals for like a competition or something like that but if you don't and it's just like lifestyle related goals and some days you just want to play around with your macronutrient intake I would definitely try to get enough protein in that way you know you're giving your body the protein it needs to recover from training so i'm gonna wrap up the video right now thank you so much you guys for tuning in if you enjoyed the video make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content then make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions from me anything to tell me make sure to leave it down below catch you guys in the next one